In the oasis, the biggest in races, an abrasive matrix where black faces unjustly catch cases. Yeah. What he sees in us, he hates it. That's why when a white law gets shot, the black community celebrates it. Our blood wasted and our spirits chasing. A pair of handcuffs is the closest thing we'll see the platinum race. Yeah. Reverse the situation and let him taste it. A chance to make a fuck the cop record, I'll embrace it. Peace to the black cop, murdered by the white cop. They've been wanting to kill him, they just was waiting for the right spot. You're crazy, you think the hating might stop. You live by, you die by, so somebody will put his lights out. HPD stands for holding people down, but in this case, I switched it to a whole police drown. Sweep the town till there's no police around, and only cop uniforms and white sheets are found. Uh. Everywhere I go, and everywhere I be, it seems like laws wanna fuck with me, and they always wanna fuck with me. Black people, this is your boy, brother Tamuz, brother Damuzi, whichever one you want to call me, it doesn't matter. Getting right into this, uh, right into this topic. Muhammad Noor. If you haven't heard the story already, this is a black police officer who killed an elderly white woman. Two things I want to acknowledge about this um, this uh, incident. Number one, the fact that they wanted to overemphasize that the elderly woman was a yoga and meditation instructor. Two, number two, they wanted to overemphasize the fact that he could have been part of a terrorist organization group. That second part, I'm going to read from the article. So that I can make it clear as to how they are trying to paint a picture of this African brother. First, the overemphasis of this woman being a yoga and meditation instructor to build sympathy. Simple as that. And they use the word elderly, but she wasn't elderly. The woman was 40 years old. That is not an elder. She, she was still young. But, as like I said, they want to build sympathy for this woman. Now, the woman called 911 in order uh, to get some police over because of sex, a sexual assault. That's what the article said. Not too long ago, we had a sister also call 911 due to burglary. I gotta stop. I'm actually about to pull over just so I can get this girl's name. Charlene Lyles. 
okay, called the police for a burglary. And traumatized from the experience or whatever, she was defending herself, ready to defend herself, and was gunned down because she had a knife. Okay? The way that this story went is that when the police arrived, she tried to greet the officers and they also wanted to overemphasize the fact that she still had on her pajamas. Officer Muhammad Noor, who was in the passenger seat of the cop car, shot and killed this woman as she was coming towards the cop car. That's the story. Okay? Now, to be honest, just to be honest, that's more fucked up than the way white officers kill us. He's still in the car and he killed this white woman. Right off the bat, I just wanted to put that out there for the white people who are watching this video. That doesn't take away from anything. Yeah, it's fucked up, but it doesn't take away from anything. It doesn't take away from the number of white people, white officers who have killed, murdered, assassinated black people. As I said, I wanted to speak on the fact that they wanted to overemphasize that this brother was a part or could be a part of a terrorist organization. Okay. So this article is by The Guardian and I'm going to leave this um, leave this article in the description box if you want to read the entire thing okay so check this out now from this article this article was posted two hours ago okay and from the other articles i'm guessing um it wasn't stated that he had made an apology so i believe that it is this article which is the more current um said that he issued an apology to the family of the woman that he murdered. This is way more, way more than any other, like no other officer has done this. No white officer has came out and apologized for the murders that they had committed. Even though it was accidental. Where was the you know what? I, you know, I, I, I was doing my job and I know how much it hurts you, even for the children. Now you might say, nah, the adults, they were committing crimes and they were okay. Cool. What about the kids? What about little Ayanna Jones who was asleep when she got shot in the head? But you know, as always, y'all like to rationalize you know, that, that type of bullshit. Now, let's get right into it. Um, the fact that Nora comes from the city's Somali population has left community leaders concerned over a potential backlash. Um, a handful of young Somali men from Minneapolis have escaped the country to fight for, a, for the radical Islamic group Al-Shabaab in Somalia and for the Islamic State in Syria and Iraq. Relations between the community and law enforcement 
have been strained for a number of years. Last year, a group of young Somali men who attempted to leave the United States for Syria were convicted in a terror trial amid claims of FBI entrapment. So, just off of the strength that other Somali men, now this officer here is from Somalia. He's only been in this country, uh, I forget how long it said, but he has only been an officer for two years. For two years. Now, off of the strength that he is from Somalia and that other Somalia men have left Minneapolis to go to, to what, is it, what did it say? to Syria and Iraq to fight for a I'm sorry and they went back to Somalia these Somalian men went back to Somalia to fight for an Islamic terror group so right off of the strength that this guy's from they tried to tie him in with this terrorist group no other white officer that has killed a black person has been charged with being affiliated with any of these groups. But the officer, Darren Wilson, who killed Mike Brown, was quickly supported by the KKK. No other white officer outside of Darren Wilson was supported by the Ku Klux Klan. And you mean to tell me that this guy had no ties? with the Ku Klux Klan, and the Ku Klux Klan allegedly is supposed to be labeled a terror, a terrorist group. None of that happened with Darren Wilson. None of that happened with Darren Wilson. But with this officer, this officer right out the gate, right out the gate is allegedly, or no, he is tied by media. He is tied to a terrorist group in Somalia. Here's the thing. This happened in the exact same city that Philando Castile was murdered in. And just off of the street. Matter of fact, um, Philando Castile's murderer. Drone Moyanez, right? Was just let off. He was just let off. And not only that, he was given severance pay. So, what what's going on here is the city of Minneapolis does not know how to deal with this with this situation because of what just happened not too long ago. See, this is what happens. This is what happens when when you try to do fucked up fucked up shit. You try to fuck over when you try to fuck over people in general, not just black people. When you try to fuck over people in general, now the table is turned. Now the shoe is on the other foot. Are y'all gonna let this guy off the hook? Just off of the strength that he's a police officer and he was doing his job. Now just off of the street, this is why I brought that up uh, earlier about the fact that this guy didn't even get out the car based on the article that I read. He didn't even get out the car. He shot this woman over his partner who he was driving with, who he was riding with, killed this woman. Is that any different from what any other off the way okay the heartlessness what I mean is this any more heartless than the way that white officers killed Ayanna Jones Tamir Rice even though you don't want to admit it Mike Brown he was still a child yes you want to call him a grown man or whatever because he was 18 but let's be realistic if he can't go to a strip club at 18 he's not a grown man 
You see what I'm saying? If he can't drink liquor at 18, by law, you see what I'm saying? He's still a kid. What about Cameron Tillman? Okay. What about Von Derry Myers? What about Laquan McDonald? Okay. What about Jeffrey Holden? Huh? These were kids. And you want us to have sympathy for this white woman. Y'all are trying to overemphasize that is elderly. But she's 40 years old. Hell, when I heard this shit, I thought the I thought the damn woman was 80. The way they talking about elderly, elderly woman, overemphasizing it. 40 years old. Yoga instructor. Hell, I thought this thought this woman was Gandhi. The way that they was talking about her. The young man that passed away not too long ago, who um, the, the 14, 15 year old kid, honor student. No justice for any of these children who were murdered by officers just doing their job. And every single last one of them used the excuse, I feared for my life. Going back to our brother and officer, Mohammed Noor. Do you think that he not feared for his life? Hell, he probably feared for his partner's life over his own. Maybe his partner was in a defenseless position and could have been killed right there in the driver's seat. But see, here's the thing. We had our brother, Alexander Bonds, two weeks ago or a week and a half ago, kill a black female police officer. For me to side with an officer at a time like this would be contradictory. I'm not siding with Muhammad Noor. But just like I said in that video about our brother Alexander Bonds, the best thing for black police officers to do is get out of the system. Give them your badge back. Stop doing their dirty work. Because, see, this is what's going to happen. Just like the sister that accidentally posted Black Lives Matter onto her Twitter. Um, I forget her name. They're going to hang your ass out to dry, brother. I'm telling you that. That is what's going to happen. You're not going to get the blue life, blue lives matter privilege. Blue lives matter. Don't give a fuck about you, brother. They're going to hang you out to dry. You're not going to get off on this. The white family demands justice and they're not going to forgive you. That's what's going to happen. That is going to be your legacy. And this goes for any black officer who gets involved in this. Just like our brother down here in Louisiana killed the six-year-old white boy. 40 years in prison for manslaughter. Your ass ain't getting off, Mr. Muhammad Noor. You're not getting off. They're not going to let you off the hook on this. No black officer who kills a white person is ever going to get off. That's the reality of our society. That is the objective reality of our society today. White people can talk about how they are being killed by police officers, but in my in my view of that is nothing but more white on white crime. That's all it is. Because you yourself, white person, are so much a part of that system. It ain't even funny. 
you are still a part of that system because why? You're going to get justice. You're crying over the fact that you're being killed off more than black people. But you created Blue Lives Matter. You support Blue Lives Matter. As they yet kill you, you still support Blue Lives Matter. Does Blue Lives Matter now for Muhammad Noor? Does Blue Lives Matter apply to him? Because he was wearing his blue uniform when he killed one of you. For you to say Blue Lives Matter means that every single last race of police officers, all of their lives, when you say that Blue Lives Matter, all of their fucking lives are supposed to matter. None of you are going to bag this guy. Because why now you see race? The whole time, the whole time we being knocked off, stop looking at race, y'all crying too much. Now you see race. When the six year old white boy down here in Louisiana was killed, you saw race. The courts saw race. They didn't see a police officer doing his job. They saw a black man that killed a six year old boy and how the how the world or how the nation would view its system. But Ayanna Jones, Tamir Rice, and all our other children who have fell in, uh, fallen and slain by Blue Lives Matter. So how do I feel about this white woman who lost her life to Blue Lives Matter? I could care less. I could care less. Don't give a fuck. But this goes to show, matter of fact, the officer that killed him, I care less about him too. Because he's Blue Lives Matter. This whole this whole thing with the with the Blue Lives Matter black life, this is not politics. but it affects politics. This has nothing to do with conservative ideology. This has nothing to do with liberalism. This has everything to do with black, white, and everybody else in between. The fuck out of here.